a good old mystery. A mystery that I really, really enjoyed. And well, hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. And today I delve into the mysterious world of Death on Denial by Agatha Christie herself. And well, let's carry right on to it. So, first off, this book is a uh, is, um, very, very similar time period as Sherlock Holmes, the most famous detective on the planet. Now, Agatha Christie's main character, the detective Hercule Poe. I mean, seriously, like, it's spelled, it's literally spelled Hercule Poirot. That, and that's how it's spelled, and he's Belgian. And it's, it's pronounced something like Hercule Poirot? That, that's the best I can do, but the name I can't pronounce, basically. We'll just call him the detective for now. He is pretty much the main character. And a couple of things. I am not gonna put too much details on the plot because it's a mis it's a mystery novel, so like it, it's like the thrill of not knowing that makes the book so good. So I'm not going to spoil anything at all. A couple things that I want to say. Basically, it is about and this is about a girl named Lynette Ridgway who gets murdered on a boat on a boat tour on the Nile. She has everything. She's beautiful, she has charm, she, and she has so much money. And she has a loyal husband named Simon Doyle, who she had stolen from her best friend. Which is, well, bad, obviously. And then, Lynette Ridgway is killed by a tiny shot through her head. And, and we are suspicious of several different people. For example, Jacqueline Bellefort. Who, who is si um, Lynette's husband's ex, who is basically really fuming at Lynette for stealing her, her guy, her man. And a, a lot of people who think that Lynette has too much money and is, is just so lucky, it's so unfair that she has <laughs> that kind of money. Every character it's suspicious, and we have to double guess every single one of them, and that is why this book is so good. First off, I want to say that the difference between Sherlock Holmes books and Agatha Christie books is Death on Denial is very, very slowly paced. It slowly but effectively builds up, and around at half the book, the actual murder happens, and the rest, how rest of the rest, the rest of the book is. Uh, the detective trying to solve, the detective trying to solve the case, and first half of it is like a slow build up that really gets onto your nerves. At first, it goes on to like all of these mysterious passengers who would later go to the Nile together, all of their like little thoughts and that kind of stuff and why they're going. This little snippets of it is revealed in the first half of the book, making us suspicious of every single one of them. And there's a little background on Lynette Ridgway, Simon Doyle, and Jacqueline de, la, de Belafort. Jacqueline Belafort. Oh god, these Belgian names, I swear. And and it's so it's, the build up is epic. Like uh, like I've so many, said so many times. And I think that and a Sherlock Holmes books usually starts with some like we heard a panicked knocking on our door. It was a normal Tuesday morning, and Sherlock was playing the violin. I opened the door to meet a young woman of around 20. That, that's how it starts. It starts, the murder has already happened. The entire book is about Holmes trying to figure it out. That is the usual Sherlock Holmes. I got the Chrissy books. It's like before the murder and like motives for every single person that could be considered a suspect. That is the first half of the book, the real build up. Then the next half of the book, as mentioned numerously by me, is the detective solving case. So it's like Sherlock Holmes, but it's more extended, and it feels like it's more, it's more like thrilling, I guess. And, and in both ways, I think Sherlock, both um, uh, Sir Conan, Conan, Do Conan um, the Sherlock Holmes books and the Agatha Christie books, if I look at them, Sherlock Holmes books are definitely more high, fastly paced. Agatha Christie is more with the slow, intense build-up. 
And in general, I believe that both um, the depths of the mystery, though, how many twists there are and how complicated the plot and the mystery is, is around equal. Because there is, there are so many twists in this book that I did not see coming. And I can see most twists coming because I've read a lot of books. So I feel like that Agatha Christie is a very, very talented author and I will be looking forward to reading all the rest of her work. A new detective to get into. Fun, isn't it? And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. I know I didn't talk too much about the plot, but I just feel like this is just, take my word for it, it is a great mystery. If you can get through the first half, that's kind of slow, but still, it is a great, well-written mystery, and I highly recommend it. I can't say much more than that without spoiling the story.